to ensure that there is enough water in 2050. We can't wait any longer and we must start now. There are more innovative young minds coming into the fold of the water utility every day. We're addressing the greatest challenges that directly impact how our civilization will sustain. That workforce is going to be more diverse, not only in race and gender, but also in skill set and career experience. I hope by 2050, lots of good research as well as applied engineering will have brought us access to ample quantity of drinking water of very high quality to everyone. As members of the water sector, we must continue to evolve and think of innovative ideas and solutions and continue to be advocates for our water resources around the world. By 2050, the water sector is going to be a smart water sector. There will be more emphasis on technology and environmental regulations. More efficient and effective chemical additives or biological additives. Systems will become more sustainable and more environmentally friendly. The future of the water sector is going to take on a more human-centered approach. As our infrastructure ages, the demand for water is going to continue to grow. Investments will need to be made all across the country to ensure that generations to come will have access to clean drinking water. We need to create larger, more regional utilities to have the resources to focus on these issues. With that, it's going to come better water quality and affordability. It will manage the quantity of the potable water of each city with a common per capita water consumption for all the country. We cannot solve this problem by ourselves and lack of communication with the other sectors must result in unaffordable water and inadequate water supply. New programs, ideas, and partnerships and innovative ways of addressing affordability are needed to ensure that we find a solution for water, poverty, and inequity. The lack of international governance policies surrounding water usage and water rights has and continues to be a factor in 2050 and will impact the way that we manage water at the world scale. How do we manage to supply quality water in an equitable manner to every human being on this planet? This is going to be an issue for certain areas more than others. As our population continues to grow and our climate continues to change, more and more stress is going to be put on our environment. Especially with sea level rise, that's going to be impacting our freshwater sources we're gonna to have to find ways to conserve the existing waters we have. There's a huge mistrust of science right now in the general community. So one of the biggest challenges that we need to overcome as an industry by 2050 will be to get that public trust built up already and so that when we introduce ideas like water reuse that aren't quite so appetizing, the public is ready to receive them. What 2050 looks like depends heavily on the plans that we put in place today to combat these things. We'll be expected to solve new and emerging problems much more quickly. What will the water sector look like in 2050? It will be more resilient. Because everyone everywhere deserves access to clean, safe water. I am water. I am water 2050. I am water. I am water 2050. I am water 2050.